So hopefully you have completed your 2019 Fierce Dream Life Planner. And I know you, and I know you was dreaming big, girl, because that's what everybody is saying. Dream big, write all your goals out, do your thing. But how do you actually sustain this over time? That's the real question. How can you be consistent? How can you be disciplined? And how can you actually get this ish to actually come true, <laughs> right? How can you stay focused and stay the course? The first thing that you need to do is throw away your big old vision, right? Make sure you have that vision and you have it in the back of your mind. But I encourage you, if you really want to slay and stay committed to your vision, you got to hone in and you have to focus in on small increments of stuff. I think a lot of times we underestimate the fact that doing little small steps step, step by step will actually get us there. So not only do I want you to go step by step, right? And do a small, I also want you to hone in on one or two key areas that could really set your year off this year. So that by this time next year, that's going to be your public victory. That's what you're going to be winning in. Cause I want you to put a lot of inner work and private time into actually making that shit pop. <laughs> okay. For this year, those one or two key areas, right? Cause the year things are going to happen. Things are going to occur, Everything's not going to be peaches and cream all of the time, but at least those one or two areas are the ones you're going to really fight for, hone down on, invest in, get a mentor in, and really like come out fighting if you have to so that you can get to the results that you want in those one or two key areas, okay? Second thing that I want you to focus on is how can you incorporate a ritual or routine that is in alignment with the thing that you most desire, right? So, you know, if you have a business, perhaps that's sitting down at the end of every month and you're writing out your goals um, or writing out your vision and reflecting and you're really, literally doing a, a report on this. These are the products that sold this work. This didn't work. Right. Or if you want to be better with your finances, sitting down with your budget on the maybe the 15th and the 30th and having a money day, make it a a ritual, right? A ritual is something you consistently do. Make it special. Even if you want to build your relationship with God, sit down with him, get a cup of tea, get your notebook. God speaks to you when you're in the silence and when you're in solitude. So th that means you might need to do a God date where y'all have a date night, right? Sit at Netflix and chill, right? You need to do God and then have him deliver to you some divine downloads into your spirit. I'm being this serious. The same is true with if you want to be confident and fierce, then you have to have a daily confidence routine. Get my book, Born Fierce, How to Unleash the Confident Woman Within. If you don't know what I'm talking about or go on my blog on unleashyourfierce.com and look and type in confidence routine and you should have a daily one every single day because what you do every Every day, those small little increments, sis, they add up. And then last but not least, some of us are going to have to get out of our old environments of where we are and we're going to have to move, whether that means physically moving to a new state, physically moving into a new place, or that's moving out all the unhealthy shit in your um, kitchen, right? So you build up a more healthier environment, right? Whether that's moving and letting go of all the little subscriptions that you got on your thing so that you free up money in another area, right? It's moving things out of an environment, right? If a, if a plant or a flower is in the wrong environment, sis, it ain't going to bloom. You ain't no different. You need nurturing. You need water. You need sun, aka self love, <laughs> right? You need all that shining and glistening on you. And like I said, a plant is gonna die if it's in that, and if it's not in the right environment. But if you pull it up at the root and move it somewhere else, perhaps it has an opportunity to flourish. So I want you to think about getting into a new environment, new spaces, new places with new people, visiting new places, places, visit the places and be in the environments that are in alignment. Well, where you're headed and where you're going. So I want you to go beyond 2019. Who you going to be in 2021, 2022? Those are the spaces and environments in which you need to be in because some of your blessings are tied to the fact that you're not moving enough or you're not getting into the right environment because you're around the same people doing the same thing and you can't create a new you being around the same old people, right? And sometimes we outgrow the spaces that we're in and we keep trying to fit ourselves in there. And we're like, damn, my man still ain't show up. Damn, my money's still ain't together. Damn, my business ain't working, right? But that's because we're in the same old environments. That's because we're stuck on this big old, grand old vision. You gotta have a big old vision. You gotta have your five-year plan, sis. But having the smaller increments is what's going to actually get you there. Having the daily ritual where you're constantly nurturing yourself, loving yourself, listening to your affirmations and taking in your, your green smoothies or, you know, eating those fruits and those vegetables and sitting down with God. Like, imagine all of that ish and work, right? That's how you really boss up. That's how you really level up. That's how you really elevate. That's how 
you really are consistent and disciplined with the things that you need, right? So I hope that these three tips will be of assistance to you as you move into this next year.